Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. So in this video, we're going to upgrade our Blazor WebAssembly application from uh, 3.1 to .NET 5. Um, this is going to be a short video, thanks to Microsoft and actually doing this a very easy process. So I guess let's just get started. And first, we're just going to open our project. So this is the Blazor WebAssembly with AAD authentication. If you haven't checked out those videos, they're pretty cool, so you should check them out. Um, so we're gonna go here and we just have to change a few things. So this is in the projects. So basically you just click the, uh, client side and we're going to change the first line. So now it's blazor web assembly instead of, uh, web. And then instead of having two lines inside the property group, we only have one now. And then we just, uh, remove the build. And we should go to the uh, Naga patches and update them. So you'll see here, you'll have a bunch of updates and you can see they're all for like five. So we're just going to go ahead and update. And this is a very simple application. So this one is kind of like seamless. There's no problems in everything uh, in our hot dog application, actually like the file upload. Now it's part of Blazor. So that one we had to like remove the input file and change it. You should check out those videos about how we made the hot dog app from Silicon Valley. Um, I'll link them down below. And as always, hold the code and GitHub and everything is down below. So go check it out in the description. So now that we have updated this, so this is going to update them here. We're going to save that. Now we just have to go to the server and we're going to uh, go to properties. And we're going to do .NET 5. Also forgot to mention for this to work, you have to have the latest Visual Studio, which is 16.8. Um, so if you don't have it, make sure you do like the installer. And make sure you have 16.8 16 at least enabled. And another way to check your .NET version is you go to, uh, to your terminal and you do .NET version. It'll tell you, you have to have the 5.0, which this up says it to, to the 5.0. So if the, the option is not coming up, it's because of that. So make sure you get the updates. And then after that, we're just going to do a run. And we get our same working application with the login and everything with .NET 5, you're supposed to get way better performance. Now you can do isolated CSS for each razor component. You can do like refreshes so like now you don't have to stop the build and everything it will like if it detects changes you it will just like rebuild and then update the website and stuff like that so let me know what you guys want me to check out of .NET 5 and i'll see you in the next one 